Hello, Tay-T. How's it, Mickey? Hey, bud. Good you? Yeah, well. Ready for this? Excited, very excited. Yeah, wonder us, eh? It's a big name, that, eh? <laughs> That's numbers, boy. We, uh, we're, in the, we're in the mix here. In the mix. Oh, let's, come, let's, let's have a look here. Oh, we'll do a nice little episode of the Irvine. Um, some really cool questions lined up. We're obviously going to do a, um, it's just obviously a big, big things to chat about. It's just missed out on the World Cup. Um, World Cup on at the moment. As of today, about two hours ago, Malcolm Marks has, uh, has just learned that he's done his ACL. So lots to chat about box wise. But we're going to have a laugh. I think that's what, we, I mean, you guys will know from watching. We, we have a laugh here. So looking forward to it, bro. He's coming now. I'm keen. We did him last time, but this time's in person. It's going to be fire. So looking forward to it. Here we go. It's happening. Let's go get the guy. Here he is. Admin. Hey, Chom. Like Lots of business calls in your pocket. Eh? Hey, Doesn't right. stop. Oh, like Thanks for coming. Yevon Tate. Tate, Yevon. This is my guy. It's the, the man, the myth, and the legend. Yeah. Huh? I feel cool with the camera following me all around. Oh, bro, it's like, it's the deal, eh? You get the Robin Gillette experience, you know, exactly. You know, I've... Where did you get the financial boost? Sign some equity deal. Yeah, Red Dizer, man. Red Dizer. And it's uh, also saying we stay and stuff, so... Yes. Makes sense. Yeah. No, here we are. Let's see, back there. It's uh, the, the pod spot. The pod spot, eh? Last time we did outside, but I thought, no, maybe not today. Anything else, you, anything you don't want to chat about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bit of chat. I'm an open book, yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, back uh, at the lovely Rondebosch Share Club again. So thank you once again. Uh, we don't have the marvellous view of the facilities like we did the last time. Uh, but again, Evan and I have a nice view of the mountain. Um, and yeah, sorry, I've already introduced, said his name, but <laughs> let me introduce my guest today. I'm very lucky to be joined by um, your Springbok, uh, Stormer, a uh, boy's eye old boy. Happy with that? Yeah. No, that's yeah, almost the most important. My, I was going to say, you, that would have been... should have started with should have started with that. Yeah. That's fair enough, y'all. Um, old boy, uh, and y'all, really good guy. Um, uh, just before we get into it, everyone, I actually want to say thank you um, because you've been like... Y'all, you've been a really solid dude to me. Uh, and I don't think, like, I think Oaks take it for granted, but y'all, I wanted to say thank you very much for that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, meant, it's meant a hell of a lot uh, and given me a lot of confidence. Uh, so, uh, um, no, thank you for that. Um, and your the guy obviously is a rugby player. If you didn't, I don't know if you don't know where the Springboks are, he's living under a rock. Um, <laughs> but I'll be honest, I think he's a guy that probably one day, post rugby career, hopefully 100 caps, he's probably going to be on the bachelor. I'll be honest. I've, I've, <laughs> bre well, I'll post on my story, dude. And I, see, I even sent him a, a, like a screenshot there, but bro, the, the types of the, the the caliber of women that were asking to be single, <laughs> dude. I was like, I was like, no, nah, I'm actually jealous, dude. Like, I don't, I don't know if I'd handle this. Um, oh, so, yeah, he's gonna be on the Bachelor, and ladies, I don't know. You, we don't want to get into this. Are you single? But I am, I am single. Yeah, I know we'll say it, but no complications or whatever. Just... Are, you, are you on the DAPS, the dating apps? Um, I am very organic. No, no, I keep it organic. No library. I got this. You got my phone. You're that famous one. You have to be a celebrity to be on it. I know that Dua Leapers on that. I've heard, but what are the chances you and Dua Leapers? <laughs> like it's any anyone in South Africa? Okay, but you, Robbie. In the set, no, it's you, Robbie. It's total package. But it's I mean, probably also heard it be before. Yeah, yeah. Know, that is, uh, I think. I, th I think the shame tours here. So, Bri, you know what? You just actually put a whole bunch of shirtless photos on, and Dua Leapers in, in you with Dua Leaper, no problem. I, but anyway, we had a chat drag, we're not Dua Lipa and... Uh, later, so we can chat Dua Lipa we can, oh, we, can, we can listen to Dua Lipa yeah, later we... as well. Um, no, but Bri, obviously before we get into, there's some obviously some relevant things we've got to chat about. Um, but I think before we get into it, uh, the last time we chatted, um, it was sort of just like had burst onto the scene. There's quite a bit of noise around your name. Since then, bro, Bok debut, like so special. Won the URC, run up in the URC. So before we get into more, I guess, the heavier, heavier stuff, um, looking back now and reflect a little bit, how do you summarize that journey and the emotions on that journey? And the, you know, the, the, just, you know, how do you summarize the whole thing? It's, it's, it's funny, I thought about it the other day. Um, it feels weird um, where I was 
uh, thinking of, of, of stopping and ending rugby or not even ending, just maybe like turning it down a bit, going from professional to try and make it at Marty's and stuff. Cause I don't know mm. at the time back in 2021, if I will make it at the Stormers, um, if there was even space for me and whatever. Mm. Um, I was I was really prepared to to go and play Varsity Cup just to be home mm. um, where my family is. Um, they live in Paul still, and the thing is, yeah, things worked out. Dobby gave me a chance. Um, Dobby slammed on the backline coach knew me from school. Yes, and um, I think he was a big factor in me coming back. And as a bunch of other people, I think was put in a good word, mm. and um, I'm happy and thankful yeah. they did. Um, and yeah, as soon as I slotted in, it was just kind of a, I knew I was at the right place. Um, people told me I was crazy back then because, you know, the classic uh, province is doom and gloom and financially this and that. Mm -hmm. And told, people told me I was crazy to sign, yeah. Uh, fast forward a few years and now we just signed the equity deal, so. And how was that? How was that a little? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's just a little. You can read um, oh, back up. Thank you. So, and just everything in between. Thinking of, I don't even think of, like, I, I wrote goals when I was in matric, I remember. And um, so I wanted to be a spring at 21. Really? So, so that was on the horizon early on? It was honestly Obviously. crazy. I wasn't thinking of, okay, all dreams are crazy, but I wrote it down. Um, at the time I knew maybe it wouldn't, like, work. Mm. But I told myself, just try. You yeah, have nothing to lose. Mm. And just set the goal for yourself. And it actually did happen. A year later, so um, so but, we're 22, yeah, 22. Like, I went and I think only Skulk Burger, and I don't know which other Lucy's. Um, had a, a, and I think me and Ulrich were the youngest after Skulk to make like a de to make a debut for, for, the, for the Springboks in That's terms of nice. loose. So, what you're saying is you're, you're a legend, that no, no, <laughs> no, it's just um, like when you talk about age and stuff, it's yeah. crazy, and sometimes you forget that. And that's, I even forget it. Um, that I am very young still, but saying that I always try and be competitive. And um, but yeah, where I started with the storm was back in 2021, and where we are now with all these good things happening. Um, I'm happy I'm part of this era in 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 Cape Town. I don't think there's anywhere else I'd want to be in the world right now. But you speak about an era, eh? so let's look back at the Jean de Villiers, Jacques Ferry, Skulkberg, and Dwayne Vermeulen when we were kids. Yeah. Bro, like that's the area you you probably upped them because they didn't win a Super Rugby, got to a final. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, Super Rugby against the Bulls, 2010, I think. To a final, so we would have been 10 years old. You think about now the 10 year olds, 11 year olds that are in school now watching the Van der Rosie, Young Guy, Bruce. So that's sort of the impact that they had on us is you probably having that twofold, which is quite a scary thing and a quite an incredible privilege. Now that you mention it, it's it's I didn't think about it like that before. Like I don't see myself. Like where I saw like John and Jock and yeah. Dwayne, all those like I don't, I don't think that of myself. Mm. Um, those Oaks are legends. So, um, but sometimes it's cool to be in the same kind of conversation. Right, then, just to be in the mix. Yeah, um, it's 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 insane. But it's I, I like what we we kind of creating our own thing, um, own part of the of the story of the Stormers, which is special to be a part of. Yeah, and especially working with people. A special characters in our team. Um, we had a Nightly? Yes, we have. We we only uh, we had a bunch of clowns in our team. If I have to be honest, <laughs> a bunch of special special people. We had a um, team building camp the other day. We hiked twenty kilometers in 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 Amarnas. That was an interesting hike. Twenty k's. No. Up and down. No, it was like a. It was. We had to cross a river. It was. It was interesting. We camped there the evening at the at the base camp, and um, me and obviously me and JJ. Um, walk together for a bit mm. and um we just said we really do have a bunch of like characters in our team yeah interesting people and i i enjoy that about us like <laughs> and, and rugby in in particular it's just how it's just very cool like all these people from different backgrounds and yeah. and like lifestyles like come together and actually work it's weird and that works but it works and it, and it works well Bro, so have you speak about guys having character and all that. Has someone, you know, so obviously clowns, has someone said something where they've completely lost lost the crowd? You know, it's like in the change before a game when someone's tuned something funny or whatever, 
And other than like, oh, that's maybe wrong time. Has it happened yet or not Not really? Mm-mm, not, not yet. Um, so us, us can pick and choose their times. Yeah, uh, folks are, I would say they have the EQ <laughs> uh, to to know and to win and do what. But the thing is, um, you have to have a thick skin in RT. Is it, yeah, um, yeah. Like, yeah, they will, they will give you a lot of shit about anything if you do screw up somewhere. And you've got to take it on the chin. Like, no, of course. Uh, in terms of if it's like when they give you um, give you fines or like when Dobber starts meetings, he always starts us with like a funny video of someone on the weekend or yeah. a photo, so especially if it's your birthday, try and get the worst baby photo of you. <laughs> when I was little, I was like a chubby. You know, like try and get those photos up. And it's like, it's good, it's good gears. Yeah, and uh, but you have to have a thick skin. Like it's not personal; it's just yeah. for for team culture. And no one likes a guy who sulks. No, one, no one does. No one like guy. No one, no one in any team I think enjoys a guy who like takes it too personal. Yeah, it's a bit like a uh, weird. Yeah, you know, like you gotta just take it. It's, not, it's nothing personal. It's just yeah. for banter. Everyone gets it. Everyone gets a turn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So obviously, very relevant at the moment. World Cups on. Nice win against Scotland. Um, you unfortunately didn't make it, uh, and we look. We chatted now about actually how how young um, you are. You know how how young we are. Uh, so I guess that's a bit of perspective. But how did you take that, bro? Uh, obviously, it's uh, such a uh, cliche question, but uh, like really, how did you take it? And then just off the back of that as well, how do you deal with disappointment? Because obviously, that second uh, URC final would have been very disappointing as well. Um, so in general, just obviously the big one at the moment is World Cup and not being selected for the, the team. Uh, but as a whole, how do you deal with the disappointment? Look, going in, up, I knew like my crew, my competition was um, obviously insanely, insanely good and quality players and more so good humans, good people. Um, so from the get-go, I knew it's, it's an uphill battle trying to get in the squad. Um, with a competition that's there. And um, so from the beginning, I just, I took it as, it's such a privilege to be here. And um, I'm gonna try my best and work as hard as I can and make a few sacrifices in those two months leading up to the World Cup. And um, whatever happens, happens. If it, like, I kind of expected it not to happen. Not not that I don't believe in myself, whatever. I just, there are players there with, who've been there, who's got more experience and they're just world-class players. Like it's just, it's the competition is very tough. Yeah, yeah. And um, so I kind of expected, and the th- which the cool thing is there wasn't like, it, there wasn't bad competition okay. between players and positions and stuff. Like everyone is very helpful. I mean, like off the, at training and stuff, like I would ask Dwayne, what do you think about this? Did I do this right? Um, can I, can you help me with like high walls? Can you do me help me with this? Mm-hmm. The malls, because how he said to malls, like he, he knows it and he's so good in it. So trying to be a sponge and take that up. Yeah. And um, like try and like get in the squad, obviously, because that's why everyone's there. It's not a secret, mm. but I also saw it as there's also opportunity to, to learn from these guys, because you don't see them all the time. Most guys play in different clubs, yeah. different leagues and stuff. So when you're all together, try and be a sponge and take all, the, all that experience up and imply it on your own game and stuff. And um, dealing with disappointment, it's, it's it's interesting. Um, I always say um, I'm 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 a faithful person, and there's always a plan. Um, I think there's always a bigger plan in place, and it's like things happen because it should, and certain things don't happen because it shouldn't. So when something doesn't go my way, um, I've got a lot of peace with it because I know there's a bigger plan in place, and um, there's a reason why something doesn't work out at this moment. You won't like know it now, but in five or 10 years or whatever, you'll look back and see, oh, that's why this happened. So this could happen. And yeah, uh, if you look back at your time with the Sharks, you know, like as an example. That's an example now. Yeah, like the, I, I think I had to go through that, kind of get out of my comfort zone, mm. be on my own for two years. Um, you do learn a lot about the world and yourself. You gotta kind of get chucked in the deep end of life. Mm. And um, so that's a great example. And I'm sure looking a few years from now, I'll look back and I'll know why certain things happened and why certain things didn't happen. And um, that keeps me at peace. And the sun always shines the next day, so. Especially in Stellenbosch. Especially in Stellenbosch. <laughs> so um, that's why that's, that keeps me at peace. And um, a good support network, obviously my family and friends. Mm, that was actually my next question. So yeah. the sort of guy, the sort of guys you go to where it's like, 
she's out yeah a little bit yeah um i remember uh when they announced the squad um yeah obviously i'm not going with them. i didn't even go with to to cardiff and and london for those two warm-up games against wales and new zealand why was that um i don't know they just took other people and stuff um yeah. other players and i'm totally fine with it because um then i obviously i told my parents first and then i told my best friend um best friends kuni jj um yeah and uh I also told JJ, listen, I didn't tell him, because we chatted obviously beforehand and I told him tonight they, they, they named the squad or whatever. And I told him, but yeah, if I don't go, I can actually join your engagement party. Ah, uh, cool. So I didn't tell him I didn't make it. I just told him, listen, I'm seeing you Saturday at the engagement party. Okay. So it's it's like small things I'm happy I could take, be part of. Like if I had to go with, obviously it's insane and cool and going to a World Cup, but I'm not going, I can actually be part of a big milestone in someone else's life. Right, so cool. So, yeah, I always try and kind of see the silver lining of things rather than just, you know, hammer down the doom and gloom of, 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 of the outcome of a situation. Do you think Do you think seeing the silver lining of things like that is easier because you're young? So say, you know, if it's like 29, like 33, you know, maybe with tougher mm. to take. It may, I think it may be. I think because I'm still young, there's like obviously still stuff to look forward to. But now, if you, now as you mentioned that, I hope I can keep that same. No, no, I wasn't saying like it was because you're young. I was just, I was just. But it's a good there. point that you make. Yeah. Maybe I think they, you have by the time you probably like you know, might be in a long-term relationship, engaged or married or whatever. You have those things to fall back on. I think. I like that, but it's a good yeah. perspective. There yeah. Always be something sort of bigger than just yeah, this thing yeah. called rugby you know i like that and, and how did you find out like was it was it um you know, what's that group you removed to us <laughs> no, 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 not that no it was cool no we um like we had a uh we had we were like a guest venue and um we had a big team bry and whatever and before the bry started we all sat there the whole squad and coach talk and coach i just announced the squad in front of everyone and stuff so it was very, done very like open and and um, sincere and stuff. So it wasn't like, listen, you know, like just pack your bags, you go and it's, Could you know, you know. No, no, they, the- Is your passport, go ahead, oh, no, okay. Management did a really good job in okay. um, making it uh, a good kind of send off for the guys going home and a, a good like, you know, celebration for the guys staying. Okay. And um, it was like, it was, a, it was cool to have a few beers and enjoy it with the guys um, after like a long top two months mm. being together. And, and was there any, I mean like, did Jacques or Rassi sort of pull you over? Was it hand over the shoulder? Or was it when it was announced? So it was like the lack of bride thing? Yeah, that uh, I, did, personal touch. I did bump into them and they just said just, you know, thank you and keep on doing. And I told them like, I know it's like, <laughs> you know, guys don't have to explain, you guys have to make choices. And those are the choices you stick by and I'm not gonna be mad at anyone for it. It's, it's, it's um, how they, um, think and know they're gonna win the world cup so as long as they win i'm very happy right um yeah. so, uh, so good no they handled it very well i've got nothing but um like yeah respect for that i must say the the springbok um management seem to get a lot right and i'm not talking just coaching staff but if you look at um things like how the change was done and how your tours are planned and even just like hotels i mean i checked in and story the other day and it's a like a the nice beach, it looks yeah. like it's in you know, Greenpoint yeah. or Woolly Point. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> not as cool, yeah, they're not, not as cool as Greenpoint. Woolly no, Point, not as cool as Greenpoint. Second, anymore. second best, second best. Um, so I must say that they do look like they get a lot right. So that the manager and the, the guys behind the seats. They do, they make it like, you just have to train and do rugby. Right. The rest is sorted. We'll do that for you. Yeah, that's and that's great. like, it makes your job much easier. So you say that, Bruce, so when you're in camp, what's it like? What's, what's, Springbok camp like you get all the cool kits yeah. which is lacquer and it's uh, the Nike and it's all nice and uh, uh, they had a look on the box yes. and you get all of that you in nice hotels so what's it like you got a team meetings just can give it us is a fact program it's your, your Monday Tuesday Wednesdays or yeah Monday Tuesday is literally from 8 to, to 6 it's a it's a long day um it's not just not training you have like your morning sessions your afternoon sessions team meetings in between yeah and stuff so it's it's a busy packed day um a lot of information and um especially in a test week that you gotta yeah get down and um yeah know 
um, after each day. Um, but it's 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 like a, it's a it's it's a um, it's a place in a in a time where you can actually like improve yourself. Yeah. Like they only eat, gym, sleep, train. Like it's yeah, it's it's, it's it's nice and refreshing. It's very simple. Like things like it's not a lot on your plate yeah. and in your mind. And um, I enjoy I enjoy that. It was like a good like kind of a mini preseason for me. Like just jumping and running yeah, around. So you go back to storm as the ice sort of. No, I'm actually grafting still. Um, yeah, but I did give me three weeks off after after uh, camp or after uh, my time with the box. Mm. And um, but I kind of still stayed fit because I am on standby, so you never know what happens and stuff. So. So what does that mean when you're on standby? Are you you at any charge you could be? Yeah, if the coaches feel like probably obviously just a loose forward or something gets injured, but yeah, um, if the coaches do feel if, if there's an uh, injury at loose forward and they feel they want to bring me up, they can. Okay. So um, yeah, that's why I just kind of stayed fit, and I now had to join pre Stormers preseason anyway. So now I don't have to do it on my own anymore. I'm just going into the training every day and staying fit. Yeah, fit for world class. Really, chat about your debut because I didn't get to. Oh yeah. Um, and you've obviously spoken about it quite a bit, um, but I want to hear. I want to hear it again. Okay? Uh, I don't want to hear it through a screen. Um, your debut. Chat me through that the whole day, bro. Like. Actually, I lie. When you when you get told you're gonna play, who you call in all the jazz? All yeah. The, all. the Monday they like yeah they told us who we who who the starting twenty three is, and um, I immediately uh, told my dad, "Listen, I'm playing." <laughs> so, I'm should be tickets. tearing up when you tell it. Um, or not really. I think I don't realize how special it was until the day. Like you see your name on the team sheet. This is very it's very exciting and everything, but. Yeah, you realize how special it is when you're there on the day, on, on the day of your debut. Like it's obviously yeah, exciting and smiles and high fives and bum taps and whatever through, through, throughout the week, and you just kind of jot your detail down and mm, yeah, you know your thing. Detail wrong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, wrong fishing, you don't no. know your detail. Yeah, and you're starting as well. It's not like you're on a bench and you kind of so. Um, but that was it. Got special and emotional when I could see my parents. Like my parents came do it always do it when I'm on tour and they're there. Um, they come in for like a coffee in the morning. Okay, on, on game day. On game day, yeah. And uh, sorry. Oh, you're good. And um, yeah, you they always. So that you can. No, it's my dad. So no worry. And uh, so with my mom and dad and brother and sister always come in for a coffee the morning of, of game day, and like we just sit and chat and whatever. And I give them their tickets, and uh, you know, I, just, I kind of chill throughout the day, stretch a lot, and whatever, all those nitty gritty professional things. Mm. And um, but on on the bus, on the way to the stadium in Bloom, like the people, Brian and and like completely losing their minds about us driving past them and seeing the Springbok buses and the cars that are honking and whatever. That kind of that made me emotional. Seeing how much these people like really love the Springboks, and now and now you you part of it. Like usually you sat and watch it on TV or sat in the stands and watched, and now. Like you, those people, you got those guys. So that was you, that guy. Yeah, it was. That was a big like mind shift thing I had to make. And then, but when I jogged into the field, then it's kind of like auto autopilot for me because I know what to do and it's yes. I'm, I'm comfortable on the rugby field or whatever. Just all the hype and things around it outside of the field, kind of that that gets me. They got you. Yeah. yeah. So the O's are all Brian there, and it's like, oh, did you have a nice little entrance into the? Uh, yeah, like the people, like the the bus obviously stops, and it's like the barricades are on to the change room. So like you obviously walk in between, and all these people are just screaming and shouting your name. And so you, so you walk it in there, got your earphones in. Mm -mm. Not you want to bring it in. I take, I like, I don't, I like, I listen to music on the way, okay. but when I get there, I take out my earphones because I want to kind of mm -hmm. get like, yeah. Get, live myself. Yeah, I'll just be present and what's going on. Okay. I was going to say, so like, earphones in, sort of doing the whole like mystery man thing, like, with not bothered by it. <laughs> That's not you, yeah, you. No, I would like to, I like to hear and see, like hear what the people screaming and like, kind of, yeah, hear the screams of support and see who's there. Maybe I see a familiar face or yes. family or friend there. I've, I, that has happened before, so. Okay. Yeah. You don't look rude. <laughs> no, 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 I can't. But then it's like awkward. Do I wave now? Do I no, I'm serious. But as you see the um, the entrance for the box at Twickenham. So last year when we played against England, that was it's huge and like because it, it's at that statue, 
where you walk in and um, I remember last year because my dad and my grandparents came to watch his parents and they I don't know how my dad got it right that's just him he got to the front of the barricade so it was uh, awesome I could go and greet him and give him a hug on walking on the way walking yeah. in and yeah that's yeah and um, that was kind of special that's why I kind of try and look yes. to see if I see someone um so but the it's the bar- like the amount of people behind those barricades at the edge of the chicken. No, it's crazy. It's like a home game. Yeah, no, it does. Especially like that, that game now they played recently, All Blacks and, uh, and Box. There's so much sapphires there. And so... Froth there. Huh? That was cool. Like I must say, that was yeah. cool watching. I can imagine just actually how insane it must be there. Yeah, I took them a special. there and walking in. Especially at Twickenham, the home of rugby. Yes, yeah, that is, that, it was special. Be walking out there, playing there, and, and I mean, like, so before game, look, I'm getting a bit uh, ahead of myself here. But before game, right, like, what, what's a what's a conversation like in a change room? Surely it's, I mean, I've been in one or two in my life, never a spring walk one, but all storms are sort of <laughs> never, never really a serious one. But um, you got are you guys in like is the coach giving like getting you g'd up? Surely not. Yeah, they don't need to g you up. Is it just like it activations can't... there already? Yeah, like you get there and you do stretches and it's more technical. Okay. And, um, but it, yeah, the, uh, like at a, at this, like a world stage like that, I don't think you need gene up. Like just being there already is enough. Um, the coaches you up in the week in training and stuff, but um, on the game day, it's, it's not needed. And like uh, everyone's so focused. Yeah. So I wanted to ask, there's that famous, um, Say or not say, not a saying, not a quote either. But I, I remember Bongi saying that, like, after one of the morning sessions, to the guys, like, "Well done, you're not going to get anything harder than this this week." Yeah, is that true? Yeah, is it is it brutal, bro? Right? Yeah, when um, especially if you're in the non-playing squad, then you then you kind of mimic the other teams, like walls and whatever. I've played a lot, a few games now these past two, three years, and the hardest malls are always in training. Legit. Yeah, no, I haven't had honor mods in the game ever. And scrums, especially the box. Um, well, you have to, you have I'm a, I, so I just give my best. Like people don't want to believe me. Like all my prop friends, um, especially my housemate who is an aspiring prop for PSO at Nazis. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. making waves there. No, he's making waves at the PSO. <laughs> no, but um, he always gives me shit. This is I don't scrum. I really do scrum. Um, Confused. He does, but like, like then, uh, but. Like scrums and stuff, it's really, really tough on the front row. Like I feel for them. I just always, I just push and do my best. But it's not, I don't, I don't chop off as much as they do in a, front, in a, in a scrum session. I just give my best and try and be motivated, like try and motivate them and say, "Well done." But um, that, they don't, yeah, but they don't want to talk. They, it's a, they're in a dark place. Okay. So well, in the trenches, they're not yeah, they're, they're fighting dark battles. So, so, so more time, more that, that's legit. That's no, that's hard. Yeah, that's hard. It's tough. If you had taken any odd knocks, yeah. <laughs> which was is just, the hardest, can you remember? So what happened was, um, still, yes, I still want to get Katsi back for this. So what happened <laughs> was, when we played the All Blacks last year, um, I wasn't playing and I was kind of mimicking what Artie does. Yes. And um, there's one more, I don't know, like Artie takes out the front, um, the, the, uh, the, the loose head in front of the line out to kind of create the shift more or whatever. Mm. And obviously, like, they prepped the guys on it and... We, when we prepped our lines, we, we did that specific specific line out, and obviously I'm eight, so I had to take out the the loose head. And when I got there, Katie wasn't there; he was taking a run up and gunning <laughs> for me. So I just kind of braced, and he just hit me with his head on my head. It was so sore; I had this golf ball in my head. <laughs> and um, I told him, "Listen, I know you guys are prepping for it. Honestly, you don't have to be. <laughs> you so that's so on purpose." And. Uh, he just laughed and he said, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, so yeah, then I told him, listen, someone else is telling him, hey, I took my shots. And, uh, but yeah, like those sessions are the worst. But I remember that specifically. And coming back from the Stormers, coming back to Stormers preseason last year, off on the box as well, my first morning session got one straight on the nose. First small, bah, bleed it off both nose. I was like, okay, cool. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> so yeah, those are the worst. Now those those I don't know, but I'm too I'm too precious to get into a more than I'll take it. <laughs> but it's a dark. it's a lot, eh? Dark place. Yeah, I, yeah, it's it's bad. Like I can't I don't know how to I can't compare it to anything. It's it's just it's a dark place. Well, I can imagine, bro. And if you 
had to compare. So obviously, I mean, like, Rossi hasn't coached you. Oh. As such, hasn't been a head coach. No, but he's still... But he's involved. He's right? very, very involved on the field at each training session. So you can... If you can compare a guy like Dobbo, Jacques, and Rossi as a coach, how would you... How would you compare them? Yeah, so obviously, Coach Jacques, Coach Rossi, or... Um, it's, they're very technical and the way they do their things and, and rightly so because it works and it's and it's and it's good and they're very serious and you have to be I mean, you're competing at an international level so um it, i understand it they're not it's not they're not robots they can make a joke and stuff it's it's cool like they, they're good people and the storm is it's obviously it's it's um Dobbo has a different way of approaching things which i'd really enjoy um he brings like banter in it he brings um kind of club rugby culture into it um, they make things fun, but it's not. It's fun, not funny. If I can put it in a sense like that. Yes. Um, there's still discipline and okay. and and those things and the way we do things. Um, to yeah, we still represent Stormers and Western Province rugby. So there is a standard that we need to be held to, and he he has a good balance of that. Okay. And um, the coaching way, him how him and Darby and Norman and Coach Rito and all the, the coaching staff coach at the Stormers, I really enjoy. Um, mm. But it is two different ways of coaching. But obviously, it's different because it's 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 franchise level and, and, and test level. So yeah, yeah, he's got there it. is different ways of doing things. Um, but I enjoy both. Yeah, I, yeah, and I enjoy working with different coaches. Mm, no, I can imagine that's nice. I remember the first time I'm, I met Dobbo. Um, it it was after that. Um, I can't remember exactly. It was either I think it was did you play Zebra. It's Stellenbosch. Yes, we did. Um, when was yes. it? Zebra was. When was that? Um, was that last year sometime? Or? We played, yeah, we played Zebra at Stellenbosch, I think 2022. Yes. 2020, yeah, yeah, 2022 we played Zebra. Yeah, yeah, I would do, and we had a social at, at the Akka at the Ak afterwards. Obviously, we need we need to chat about the Stormers and this equity deal, which you probably won't know how to have a lot about. But yeah, but... Just the feeling of it is a, sort of a good vibe, the it's, it's, yeah. it's uh, happy days. It's been, a, it's been a long time coming, but I'm happy it's happened. Yeah. And it, yeah, just like it, it opens up so much new doors for us. And just yeah, financially, yeah, <laughs> financially. Yeah, financially. <laughs> but um, no, it's, I, I'm happy because it, then like we don't have Dobbo and them especially. I think players, they kind of shield us against it quite well. Like I never worried about it. Yeah. I think it's the less stress on management and and coaches and stuff, mm. which um, I think is like, and now we can just coach rugby. Dobber doesn't have to do politics anymore. Yeah. Just does rugby, which he actually just wants to do. Imagine that, eh? Like, that would have been tough. I remember I read somewhere that he was like, he'd be pulled off trainings to to go deal with politics. that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I think he's thing. like so relieved just to be able to do rugby. No, I'm not like. Uh, do, you know, do you know sort of the ins and outs of it? So who is it? Is it. I know it's three, but uh, like, I think I'm speaking on a correction. Three, like, um, just guys who love rugby, obviously got a lot of cash. I mean, cash. Yeah. Well, I love rugby. I mean, it's and they kind of, yeah, it's a consortium and they kind of bought yeah. into it. So, but um, I missed the, they did come to speak to us, but I missed the chat. I did that. Yeah, I missed the yeah. chat because I had treatment, like medical treatment. So, okay. Yeah, I was getting a massage or something. So, I missed that chat. So, I'll try and uh, fill, us fill, us, fill you guys in as soon as I actually go ask people what they actually said. Okay, cool. Yeah, but it's just basically like they, they've spent the money and they kind of expect the, uh, mm. the return on investment, which is but obvious. It's like, that's what you need. Yeah. It's a professional spark. I feel like rugby in South Africa has been so backward for such a long time. But you get like the shark, like the sharks that, that, that Marco chap, he's mm. done it nicely. I don't know, I forget his surname, but he's done it nice and it sort of just gets that American feel to it. Obviously, yeah. you want to keep the core values of rugby. Yeah. But I think, I don't think that'll ever go because no. of the kinds of people who play it. Yeah. Um, but do you need that injection of like, cool, here, we're going to do the social media thing, we're going to do the uh, fan experience thing, yeah. you know, we're going to have fan days, you need that, bro. No, it's like you kind of, you have to do that and I think it's the whole commercial value behind sports yeah. and stuff and there's so much opportunity for it in terms of marketing and all those um, things and um, I'm, I'm happy that we got, got to where we are now. Um, I think it's just going to get bigger and it's the ultimate place to, to like buy in, I think, to have a team in Cape Town. Doesn't get better. Like, don't I don't think it does get better ever. Do you think you'll go overseas? Yeah. Do you see what you're saying? No, the thing is, if 
the reason guys go overseas is for money. Yeah. Well, if that's not the case anymore. Oh, uh, fair enough. Because not like because you have these private investors and they yes. can kind of match what they yeah. give overseas. And what's if you don't want to go, what's the use of? Yeah. Leaving. Yeah, fair enough. Like. Put like a guy like France. Yeah, like a one club man. I wish I could say because obviously I went to the Sharks, but like being a one club man is also something special. That's so that's legendary yeah. status, eh? Why do you think surely you'll know France? And I, I, I'm dying to him, have him on the podcast, but I, I really don't think you will. But I, I think I'd be too much. Um, why do you think? Because I'm sure you would have got offers. Why do you think France Bernard was still staying at the Stormers? Because I don't have Brandy and the crew overseas. <laughs> to say that, that's his thing, eh? Loves no, the like crew. He loves the crew and just not like, yeah, just to have an honest Brandy look at the so crew sunset. Like, oh, he's, he's, he's uh, like, um, chatted to him like obviously a few times, but he's a quiet guy, but he's, yeah, very a simple guy. I think if, if he gets a chance, he's in the crew, like, uh, hunting and just being on the farm. <laughs> yeah, like, I think that's, and, and that and his wife, that's all he actually. He cares about so I actually fully respect that because yeah. I think I'd, I'd be pretty similar like you know just like not a career in brandy I'd probably be a different sort of you know, lawn bowls <laughs> and, and and gin and tonic you know? <laughs> yeah and, and Ron and Bosch <laughs> exactly Ron and Bosch. Um, but you're very simple just like I'm happy uh, if he's at a wine or over yeah and I yeah, think yeah that. that's like and like yeah, obviously there's people go overseas for financial reasons and this and that but I think France is so happy. Uh, I th- yeah, it's obviously signed on. So yeah, yes, yeah, happy day. So, yeah, like it's it's. I'm happy for him, and I, like and he's still on my team. So that's why I'm happy. Oh, bro, scrumming under the exactly, team. exactly. You um, have you got a show and tell for us? I went through all my things. Um, I only have rugby jerseys and this and that. I don't have any like good stories. Okay. I've got good stories, but I mean like any like memorabilia from the good stories. Like okay. I once like. We were actually in Aka the one night, and the next day when I opened up my wallet, I had a, a Porsche 911 petrol card in my wallet. I don't know how it got what? there. I don't know how it got there, but I, I, because it's this red Epso card, and I don't bank at Epso, so I was obviously like thinking maybe this is so someone's card. I so like gave it to me, and I put it in my wallet, or I picked it up, and I opened up the wallet, and I saw the card, and it said, "Yeah, oh, Porsche 911." So I don't know whose it is. I just kept it for the for the story. <laughs> but um, that's the only thing I can think of memorabilia. Um, yeah, there you have it, folks. Everyone is actually a rugby player and pickpocketer. A pickpocketer uh, by now. I was wondering, but every time I, I'm at Aka with you, I've always lost sort of a card. I mean, you're not going to be good far with it. You always think, I'll buy the beers, but it's yes, your card. Yeah. <laughs> I just it's the illusion I create. <laughs> uh, it's fair enough. It's fair enough. Okay, everyone, we've got a... You know, this is my bread and butter, but what this is questions. Wild. This is where I become creative. It's okay. my emoji game. Unfortunately, I've only got... Oh, three. yeah. And you did this with Cade. I did with this Cade. always, like, serious about this. I'm running shit. Am I... But I've only got three. Okay. Hopefully, I don't look too dumb. No, but the thing is, I, I could just look dumb because sometimes it's um, it's a lot. Okay. So the first one, I'm going to give you... That's not... That's, like, what it, it, what it would it's be. It's a pawn in a chess. <laughs> okay, no, there we go. You go. For first one. Well, it's, that's no, that's a queen. Okay, but uh, so think broader. So you said it first. It's a pawn. It's a chess piece. Yeah, chess, chess, the line. It's a, it's a yeah. straight thing. A straight line. Yeah. Okay. So put those together. Chess the no, no. chess line. Chess. Tra- look at the look at the surname. Next to it. It's called Chess and Colby. <laughs> yeah. That's not bad, eh? That's amazing. Okay. Okay. No, got okay. It. This one. So this one, and um, think of recurrence with these two. Okay. Quibus. Quibus. One. No, Quibus. That's a storm and an arrow. Yes. Arrow. Not Quibus on bike, no. Mm-hmm. Um, but what's a storm come down with? It's water, rain, yeah. rain. And Quibus. what's that sport called? Archery. Yeah, so put it together. Quibus. Uh, rain. Wait, wait. It's, it's a bit of a, a, a stretch as well. Yeah, wait, okay, so, but are you, should it be in, should I think in Afrikaans or English? English, English. So, rain, archer, cool. And th- that in Afrikaans? Yeah. Cool, nice. Reinach, cool, Reinach. Okay, okay. That was okay. a bit of a, that was a, a okay, stretch. Okay, okay, okay. And then think about what body part this is. This one, it's this a knee, obviously. Yeah. Knee. Neon, or, Dion Yeah. 
There I we go. I had it. No, I think I did better than Code. Yeah, I definitely. Code's stupid. No. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> what an idiot. No, um, okay, that's good. The only the last song I enjoyed. Favorite one? The only Corbus. That was a bit of a stab. It's straight. The Chase, first yeah. one was good. Cheslin. Cheslin. Yeah, Colby, that was good. Um, but the, the, uh, the archery was a bit of a stretch. Yeah, yeah, it was a bit of a stretch, but it's 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 cool. Like, but it, you always got to think, and you try to not to look and you don't on the spot. Because a lot of people are watching, so they don't want to look like an idiot. <laughs> no, no, that's that was. I thought she just tight. I thought you were spotting him about a ten there. That was a seven, I thought. Yeah, well, I took a bit longer for you. I had to, I had to guide you. Yeah, a little bit. bit. Yeah, oh, we'll get better. No, exactly. Um, so we got to wrap up soon, um, but not before I ask you some of my questions for TikTok, eh? I love it. You mentioned earlier about uh, being single and numbers. I love it. It's a bit. Okay, let's go. Is Evan Ruiz single? I am, yes. Okay, and looking? No, not actually. It sounds bad. Not looking. If something happens, it's cool, but um, I'm just doing me for now. Uh, so I just played the spring walk, so <laughs> no. The thing is, yeah, like uh, I'm gonna like now. I'm I'm not looking. Not that I don't want to meet people. Um, it's just that uh, just get on Ray. It's all it. <laughs> get on Ray. Like, it's just um. I think if you if you're gonna look for something, possibly you kind of kind of find it in, in in the wrong places. Go on. That's wisdom. That eh? That's getting clipped, bro. Um, but uh, no, I like very open to meet like good good girls. Um, but I'm not gonna go look for it. Like my wife's not into LARP and Stellenbosch. That's the thing. Like I've heard these stories like back in the day. Like my mom, my dad met my mom in a bar. Um, but one club's different though. Okay, that's a thing. And it's like also, it's a bar Ucker. and I'll port. I'll my wife in Ucker. You can, definitely. Ucker. Maybe Browse. That's that's pushing it. But definitely Ucker. Um, not what No, well, no. And definitely not Nuba. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> no, not at all. But um, like my dad met my mom in a bar, but like a Aka type of bar, so yes. makes sense. Um, it's a nice, cr nice crowd, easy, just easy beers, nothing too yes. spectacular or wild. Yeah. But um, it's it's a far stretch. And the thing is, we're getting older. I remember, oh, yeah. we're getting older in in, in Salamosh, so that's the thing. I, bro, I said this the other day. I, I said to my chums, I walk into Browse, and we give fully given Browse advertising here, but it's fine. I like your place, but I've walked in there, bro. It's like a Saturday night, and I was like, "So I know it's my time to leave. I don't really know anyone in yet." And I was like, "Oh no!" Me and JJ, me and JJ went to watch the All Black France game at Bra House. Still bumped week. into you guys. Yeah, remember that? Yes. So the, before we bumped into you, <laughs> me and JJ went to the bar, bought a drink, and we stopped and looked, like, because it was a very like last minute two-man mission like we weren't we didn't plan anything my invite was lost so yeah you yeah. know if this guy's writing or studying or he is yeah playing balls and on a bosch or whatever <laughs> and um we were like Whoa, who do we know <laughs> we don't you know absolutely no one yet um and that's bad and but you not a couple of people there no like you meet people and um like that was cool like now we just on our own now it's like kind of adventure time <laughs> so we can see who we meet and stuff <laughs> and it, it was a fun night but um the, just that realization of shit, but right. we don't know anyone yet. That's why, yeah, that's why obviously Cape Town. Next year. Um, and I want to ask Green Points or Stellenbosch. Uh, there's a right answer for this. But. Yes, yeah, there is a right answer. Um, but, you know. but now, like, I have to, like, it's going to be Stellenbosch. I love Stellenbosch, good people, but I am moving to Green Point, so I don't know, it's a 50 50. Stellenbosch or Paul? Oh, going to have to go Paul. The battle. Yeah. Hennies. Yes, he needs battle. Is it good? It's is amazing. He's good. It's amazing. I've been Bro, there. What, why? Or is it just like it's just the vibe that it is? Like obviously, um, uh, Rico's who runs it and started it. Like it's, it's such a great initiative. He says rolled it up. So yeah. He's, he's, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think he's funny until the other day. I was like, actually, this guy's funny. He's a funny guy. No, I've, from the start, this guy's been amazing. But it was more like Afrikaans humor. Obviously, lawn bowls and gin and tonics. You know. So <laughs> like, now I've actually got to the brandies and and the coke. You've been, yeah, you've so, been, so been so now you've been cultured in that. Yeah, you've seen the light. Now is the light. Very is amazing, and uh, but just the whole vibe and like the the, the waiters are refs. So if you like drink with your right hand, they like come and blow a whistle, and you got it out. Like it's, yeah. it, they keep. Uh, and if you don't, you out. No, they chuck you out. So they, it's 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 the rules are there, and I, rules, I enjoy rules, it. Rules. rules are rules, you know. But now rules are rules, rules and just stick to them. 
Is it? Um, so the whole vibe and the thing you created there is, is quite cool. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Best atmosphere you've played in front of? Yo. I must say, this is final against Munster. Because it was a packed out THL stadium. I was there. Yeah, you know. It was well, crazy. It was yeah. not filled with us. It, it was, was crazy. Nosebleed seats. No, that, that was crazy. Like, I've, I've played at like stadiums like Thorn Park and, um, and, and Limerick. Munster is also insane. Um, stadium. Um, overseas, uh, obviously Twickenham is amazing. Mm. And um, I must say, uh, I didn't play that game. I went in the box plays against France in Marseille last year in a year tour. I was also a crazy atmosphere, a crazy, crazy atmosphere. Very, a lot of energy and the people are screaming, it's on me. Oh, yeah. No, so it was, we actually haven't really spoken about that URC final. Um, the final, uh, I know, it, it was, a, I must say it was a lot more pressure than it was last year. Um, cause we didn't expect to make it mm. the first year. And obviously it was a big goal for us last year to, to host it and win it again as it is for the next season. Yeah. But, um, I don't know what it was over this year. Just, I felt more pressure this year than I did last year. Legit, eh? I don't know why. I, don't well, know. I guess there was more expectation. I think the expectation of we won it the previous year, so we have to win it this year as well. Yeah. And, um. Oh, we were in front of the what, 72nd minute or 76th minute, so, so like it could have gone so either way. Mattered, yes, I was bleak. So it could have gone either way. But Crazy Monster, they, they, they were smart in the way they played and mm. they planned in behind everything. And um, I'm happy for a guy like, like Arche and John, mm. um, who, who won, especially Arche after the long two seasons after mm. injury and stuff. Crazy. Coming back and winning, and then John getting a call up to the box. Like, mm -hmm. something awesome happened out of it, so yeah, sure. happy for them. And it's lessons we learned, obviously. It's experience you but it's still two finals in two years. So it's... And I, it's guess, I guess that's sport, really. Yeah. That's, why, that's why I watch. Yeah. Because the Storm was in the box, one every week, it wouldn't be as, as cool. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, so I think, I guess that's sort of... So the it's the, uh, but it is for you guys. It's a better thing about sport. Yeah. Yeah. And and there must be a winner, there must be a loser, unless you draw. Uh, yeah. No one really likes that. No, that's boring. No, it's like, uh, it's like kissing your sister. Yeah. Or your cousin, such a sister. Yeah, it's that's a bit, cousin. yeah. It's a bit too close. It's like, not even going to be done. Tate, we're going to cut that out, mate. Okay. <laughs> no, cool. And then let's go. So, sort of hardest guy you've ever faced? Toughest? Um. I must say I got tackled very hard by Willem Alberts. Oh, very, very hard. Yeah, he's a big, big human being and he can tackle. So yeah, that's the hardest I've um, played against. Nice. Well, I think um, that's us. We've uh, sort of flown by. Um, and yeah, Bruce, thank, everyone, thanks so much. I really appreciate you coming on. I've absolutely bothered you. I think I now know what it's like to be a girl in Irwan's DMs trying to come right there. It's, it's, it's hard. <laughs> um, uh, we tough. finally come right there. So I'm actually, you know, what's that? It's like you, you in his DMs and I'm sitting across from him speaking. <laughs> and so it's like one of those. Um, oh, but it. no, thank you so much, bro. It's been really uh, such an awesome chat. Long time coming. Yeah. First time was so nice. We did it twice. Yeah. All the cliches. Um, but job, I'm really excited for, for this to come out uh, and people to, to hear um, hopefully a different sort of perspective. I think we've had a nice little laugh. I hope so, yeah. We've got a bit of work to do on the emoji game. Yeah, I'll get there. That's the thing. I also have a, I'm not a guy who uses a lot of emojis, so. You're not, eh? No. The laugh emoji is the one I'm yeah. most frequently used, and okay. that's about it. Yeah. I don't know, bro. When I saw on your phone earlier, there's quite a few, like, sort of kiss emojis, and there's, like, even the red heart. i got to keep my mom happy, yeah. No, that's, that's fair on. enough. <laughs> it's fair enough. Anyway. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you got this far, I really, really appreciate it. Um, leave, a, leave a comment, send me a DM. I'd love to hear. Um, <laughs> send, <laughs> send me a DM. <laughs> ladies, send me a DM um, if you've come this far. Um, and yeah, I really look forward to yeah, your, your, your criticisms and your compliments. It all means uh, a hell of a lot. So thank you so much, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Cheers.